Hi, my name's Marcus Boyce and welcome to another screencast. It's been quite a while since I've done a screencast for my YouTube channel and the reason for that is I am working on my uh, current novel, Songs of Love and Loss. That's the conclusion to the trilogy. Um, the two first books uh, are available on Amazon uh, right now. Um, if you go to the URL that's on the screen, you'll get to my author's page where you can get the books if you want. However, this did give me a good reason for doing a series of screencasts on the application I use to write these books and that's called Scrivener. Scrivener is a application that is available for OS X and Windows. The website is literatureandlatte.com. Uh, you can also get Scrivener like I did from the Mac App Store. Here's the Mac App Store page for Scrivener. It's £32 in the UK. It's uh, about $45 uh, in American App Store. You can buy it from the website uh, if you want. And you can also download a free trial. Now, I've already downloaded and installed it. So let's fire it up now and have a look at it. When you first launch Scrivener, you get a dialog box that lets you choose from a range of templates. Here you have the getting started, which is either an interactive tutorial or the Scrivener user manual. Double clicking on the Scrivener user manual opens it in preview where you can read the comprehensive user guide. Uh, clicking on the interactive tutorial opens another dialog box telling you that essentially you're going to be working on a, a saved locally version. Click continue and it goes where do you want to save it? So we'll save this on the desktop. And then you get essentially a comprehensive work through tutorial which will show you Scrivener from start to finish. We'll just uh, get rid of that. Um, so then you've got blank template, various types of fiction, novel, novel with parts and a short story, non-fiction templates, script writing, poetry and miscellaneous. We're going to open a blank template. Again, it's going to tell me where do I want to save it or we'll call this my project. And here we have a blank Scrivener document. Just make this a little bigger. And on the left of the Scrivener document we have the binder. Uh, this is where our main document exists. This is anything under the draft um, folder. In this case we've only got the one document so I'm just going to click the add and let's get a couple more documents up. So these uh, three documents under draft, they uh, constitute uh, the document of the book or whatever you're writing. Under research, this is where you can put other documents uh, that relate to the main document but won't be included when you compile the main document for publishing you can easily remove the binder by clicking on the binder button and bring it back with that and you can make folders inside of draft here so we're new folder and you can drag and drop to arrange the order now you'll notice that when i click on a folder that contains multiple folders such as draft or chapter I get this cork board view again here I can rearrange stuff by just dragging it around just like that and you can do it to everything so we'll move the chapters behind the hand there and so on and you can also look at this in 
uh, it's out that title and synopsis view which will give you the chapter the folders and the documents with any labels statuses and synopsis that you've applied to it now we've not done any at the moment we'll get to that in a minute so I'm going to click on here and in here you can format the text any way you'd like so bold um, different fonts um, highlight just like working in a normal word processor sort of nice and simple really if you find the background of OS 10 distracting we have a full screen uh, mode here where you can uh, focus on writing if you hold your mouse down at the bottom you can adjust things like the width of the paper the scale of the text and um, you can also bring up other such stuff so you can you can choose to fade the background in and out and you can go to various folders from here directly and you can bring up the inspector just like you could in the main script not only without any distracting background press escape to get out of that and you're back in the main Scrivener document over on the right we have the inspector uh, this brings up the um, inspector panel on the right uh, where we can label give status and decide if documents are going to be included in compile give a page break before or compile as is as well as add notes and the synopsis is quite useful uh, for example, if I was to type so we've typed a synopsis for that and we'll just pop to chapter 2 and type a synopsis for that and to the end and type 1 for this So now if we go to the uh, corkboard mode by clicking on the draft folder, I'll pop it into corkboard mode, you'll see that here we can see the synopsis for the chapter called end. I go into, we can now give a synopsis for the chapters. Notice that I didn't need to go over and enter this into the synopsis field. I can double click and enter it on here. Uh, but it does update this. So we'll pop into here and here we can see we've got the synopsis of both chapter 1 and 2 we'll give chapter 1 a label so this is a chapter and this one is also a chapter and you can make your own labels so just click edit and it's, it's quite complicated so we'll go over that one in more detail um, in a later screencast once you have your story complete, um, you'll want to get it out of the Scrivener into some format. And for that, we use the compile option. And here's where we've got a lot of options. So we want, what do we want? Do we want to format it as original or how it is? An ebook, an ebook with parts, or all these options here. And we'll stick to the original. And we're going to compile the draft folder. You can choose what we want to do, but for this we're going to uh, compile the draft. And we're going to compile it, in this case, to a PDF. And if you click the All Options, you get a lot of powerful options, such as what you want, any separators, formatting types, layout. If I just pop this to a ebook you will get a front cover option here where you can apply a cover image um, and you can also uh, add a iBooks front cover which is slightly different but there's a lot of options here for various different types and so what we'll do is we'll compile this for a PDF click compile and we'll stick it on the desktop again and off Scrivener goes and if we just pop Scrivener out the way, 
here we have a PDF, I'll quick look it. And as you can see, it's compiled it with page numbers and all the formatting I put in. And this is the name of the project, but you can also get it to put chapter names on and so forth in that outline. A lot of people, including some quite well-known authors, just use Scrivener in the uh, full screen mode here and use the output functions for, uh, and the organization functions alone. It's a lot more powerful than that. So what we'll do in part two of this screencast is we'll take a more in-depth look at the compile options and then in the one after that we'll take a more in-depth look of how you can write and organize your research. Well that's it for now. I'd like to thank you for listening and uh, have fun.